Hi, it's Barbara. Welcome back to Wiki Design. Today we're going to talk about how to set up shipping zones in WooCommerce. This is part of an ongoing series of videos that I'm creating on the WooCommerce platform, so if you're interested in learning more, be sure to subscribe to the channel if you're not already. I find shipping zones to be one of the more confusing aspects of WooCommerce because there are a lot of different options and if you don't set them up correctly, it can become very confusing as to why shipping methods aren't being displayed on your cart. So I want to walk you through a few different scenarios so you can get a better idea of how shipping zones work. Basically, a shipping zone is a certain method of shipping options that are available to a person within a specific region. So for example, you can offer different options for people that are within a certain zip code. You can offer different options for people within the United States or different options for people that are outside of the United States. And there are a lot of different options available in the box. If you are using a shipping service like FedEx, the Postal Service, or UPS, there are even more options. In today's video, I'm going to just go over what is available to you within the WooCommerce settings out of the box. So after you install the plugin, you can set these up without having to install anything else. In order to get to the shipping options, you'll go to WooCommerce settings, and then you'll click the shipping tab and it will take you here. You'll want to hit add shipping zone, and then you can start adding your different regions. The first thing that you'll want to do is add your zone name. I'm going to put United States for this one. The zone region, I'm going to select United States. And you can see as you start typing, all the different countries come up and with the United States, you can limit it to certain states. So there are a lot of different options. The next thing you'll want to add is a shipping method. So we'll hit add shipping method and you can do out of the box, flat rate, free shipping or local pickup. I'm going to do flat rate for this because what I want is for people within the United States to pay $30 for shipping no matter what their order is. So I'll hit add shipping method and then you can see that gets enabled here. If you ever wanted to disable this, you would just check that box. Now you're gonna go here and hit edit and this is where you'll put in your additional settings. So for the cost, I'm going to say $30, and then I'm going to hit save changes. So I just set up my first shipping method. If I go to my checkout page, you can see that if I order this item, the shipping rate is $30. Now let's say that I wanted to ship outside of the United States. Well, that's actually something that is already taken care of we can go to shipping zones and you'll see this option here, locations not covered by your other zones. So they've already created this shipping zone option for us. So all we have to do is edit this with a new shipping method. So we'll click add shipping method. And again, we'll select flat rate. We'll go to edit. And then here we can put in a different number. I'm going to put in $50 for anywhere outside of the United States. So if I go back to my cart and change my address to the United Kingdom and hit update, you'll see that now my flat rate shipping is $50. So that's how we handle international shipping if we're doing a flat rate. Now let's say that we wanted to offer a local pickup option. This is something that is becoming more and more popular as people are doing curbside pickup. In order to enable that, we'll need to add a new shipping zone. And we'll call this zone name local pickup. Now for here, we're going to want to get more specific with our region. I'm going to select a zip code within the Philadelphia area. So I'm actually going to do United States, but then I'm gonna scroll down to Pennsylvania.
and then I'm going to click this limit to specific zip codes. You can put in a few different zip codes. You just have to add it uh, one per line. I'm just going to put in this zip code that is within the Philadelphia area. And then I'm going to hit add shipping method and I'm going to select local pickup. And you'll see that that's now enabled and we don't need to edit anything in here because I just want the cost to be zero because people are going to come and pick it up. So I've gone ahead and changed my shipping address to the zip code that I put in for local pickup. And I can hit refresh and you'll see that it's still only showing flat rate. I wanted to bring this up because this is something that really drives me bonkers about the shipping zones. You have to make sure that your local pickup option is above your other option. It needs to be first. So if I go back and refresh this, you'll see that now the local pickup option is available. This is something that I struggled to figure out for a very long time. Uh, when I first started making e-commerce websites and there isn't a lot of documentation on it and I was wondering why it wasn't working and all it was was that it just wasn't in the right order. So I hope that I save you some time when you are setting up your shipping zones so that you don't wonder why things aren't working the way that you want them to work. So now we have this local pickup option for this specific zip code. But let's say that somebody in that zip code just wants to pay for delivery. They don't want to be bothered with going to pick it up. Well, there is only one option. So what we have to do is go back to our local pickup zone and hit edit. And we have to actually go in and add back the flat rate method for shipping. So we're going to edit the flat rate and put back $30. So that gives people in this zip code two different options for shipping. They can choose to pick up their item or they can have it shipped for a flat rate of $30. If we go back and refresh this, you'll see that now there is a local pickup option and then there's also the option to have it shipped. So you can see how this can get kind of complicated. So it is really important to be as organized as possible when it comes to shipping methods before you start to do this because if you don't do it correctly, it could be a lot of headaches. Let's say that we wanted to add a option for free shipping if somebody spends over $50. Let me show you how to set that up. So we have our three different zones here. So we have to go in and add the shipping method. So I'm going to go into the local pickup zone first and I'm going to hit add shipping method and then I'm going to do free shipping click add, and then I'm going to go back to edit. And I'm going to say free shipping requires a minimum order amount. And I'm going to make that $50. And you can see in here in this drop down that you do have options to create coupons or minimum order amount or a coupon or minimum order amount and a coupon. So you do have a couple options when it comes to free shipping settings, and this is good for promotions. So I'm going to hit save changes. So now for the local shipping zone, we have the free shipping option over $50. So if we go back to this, if I hit refresh on this, it's not going to show up because my order is only $15. But if I start to add a few more shirts. Now my order is $90 and you can see that I have the free shipping option now available. So what we have to do is go back to our other shipping zones and do the same thing. We have to go to the United States one, add it in here. So we'll do free shipping, the exact same thing that we did on the other one. 
minimum order amount of $50, hit save changes. We'll go to our last shipping zone, locations not covered by other zones, and we'll hit free shipping on this one. And the same as before, we'll make that $50. So we have to add it to every shipping zone in order to offer that discount to everyone. So you can see here that we have the shipping methods, local pickup, flat rate, and free shipping for the local pickup zone. And then for United States and international, we have flat rate and free shipping. So you can see if I change my zip code with the order amount being over $50, it starts to show flat rate and free shipping options. I change it to United Kingdom and you can see that for international orders over $50, we do have the free shipping option as well. So that is how you would offer free shipping for orders over a certain amount. So that's an overview of how shipping zones work in WooCommerce. Like I said before, if you are using a plugin to offer different rates depending on shipping providers, those options will show up under your shipping methods. Uh, but out of the box, WooCommerce does offer a lot of different options for shipping. So I wanted to go over how to set things up and kind of give you an overview of what you can do within the platform. I know it is a bit confusing, but once you get the hang of it and you really understand how things work and what you want to offer, it becomes a lot easier. So thank you for watching this video. I hope you got some good information from it and let me know if there's a specific WooCommerce video that you want to see me make. See you next time.